since yesterday, uh, 67 more people in Virginia have tested positive for COVID-19. And I'm sorry to report we have had our third death, a man in Fairfax who was in his 60s. My sympathies and those of the entire Commonwealth go out to his family and loved ones. We are seeing this sharp increase in positive tests in part because we do have more capability for testing coming, on, coming online. But we're also seeing it because this virus continues to spread. We talk about flattening the curve, but make no mistake, we are still in the early stages of that curve rising. How high and how quickly those numbers rise is up to you and me and every single Virginian. It is clear from talking daily to our public health officials that COVID-19 is going to be with us for a long time, months, not weeks. We need to begin adjusting to that reality. I know that makes people anxious and fearful. It is difficult to live with uncertainty. But the sooner we all adopt these new ways of living, the sooner we will all get through this. We know that a majority of people who get sick will experience mild to moderate symptoms. So as a country, our priority must be to protect the people who are most vulnerable, older people, people with underlying health conditions, and our health care workers themselves. We need them to stay healthy. So here's what we're doing to protect them. We're making sure that we dedicate as much personal protective equipment, PPE, as possible to our health care workers who are focused on COVID-19. Just yesterday, the Virginia Department of Emergency Management shipped a major supply of PPE to emergency medical services, health districts, and hospitals. This includes gloves, gowns, face masks, and respirators. We are also actively reaching out to companies for help making and distributing PPE. My team has been on the phone around the clock, reaching out to CEOs across our Commonwealth. Our message is clear. It is time to step up. I have been very proud in my administration that we have built the best state in the country in which to do business. Now, Virginia needs your expertise in manufacturing, logistics, and in the supply chain. As an example, Yesterday, Home Depot delivered a shipment of PPE to our Department of Emergency Management for distribution to our health facilities, and I thank them. We're calling on hospitals to reschedule elective surgeries, and many have already done this on their own. That is a way we can free up health care workers and preserve PPE, emergency equipment, and the blood supply. The centers for Medicare and Medicaid services has guidelines for surgical and dental procedures that our medical facilities and dentists can follow. I also encourage Virginians who can to telework and use telehealth whenever possible so you don't have to go to the doctor's office. Every one of us has a job to do to fight this virus. That is why it is so, so critical that everyone stay home as much as possible. Do not go into crowds. Do not have gatherings. I know that most Virginians are hearing this message, and I thank you all for doing your part. But I also know that some people are not listening. And I want you to know, you are putting every single one of us in Virginia at risk. Again, I remind our localities, if a restaurant is violating the 10 person, the 10 patron rule, you need to shut them down. To our colleges and universities, no more fraternity parties. 
and for everyone. Social distancing does not mean congregating on a crowded beach. This is not a holiday. This is not a vacation. Please stay home whenever possible. Virginia is watching. Everyone knows the right thing to do. Everyone needs to be smart. We know people have to go to the grocery store and to the pharmacy, but wash your hands and keep a distance between you and other people. 